but you want to get your girlfriend or your wife into video games. Whatever your reason, either you're addicted and you just want to get them off your back because they're complaining about you playing too much, or because you just want to share your love for the games and your hobby with them, here's five games that I think can get your significant other into games. It helped my wife become a gamer, and maybe it can for yours too. Here they are. First on the list, we've got Spelunky. Now, this is number five because I'm not sure if this is where you should start, but uh, it is a great one because you can play together. It's almost infinitely replayable uh, because everything is uh, generated randomly. You don't have to be the best player in the world, and if you are a lot better than your wife, then you can do a lot of the leg work. Uh, but it's a game that, if you both start together, I think will work very well, because there is a pretty high learning curve, despite how simple it looks. If you really want to make it to the end, if you want to beat this game, it's tough. And uh, you can learn that together. And you just have so much fun learning and dying again and again and figuring it out. Not the easiest of controls for a new gamer, but that's part of the learning curve, I guess. And that's again why this is number five. Next up we have The Binding of Isaac. It's a little gross and may seem like a weird choice, but it's a really good game and it's good for beginners. Uh, there is a bit of a learning curve. Uh, you have to learn about all of the items and how everything works. But the actual gameplay, the controls, the movements, everything is very simple. Uh, it's not that hard to get into. My wife has put so many hours into this game and continues to put hours into it. Originally, she you know, enjoyed that it was a little strange and the sense of progress you get finding new items and there's so many items that you can find and uh, you know when one of us was playing the other one would go online and look up it's some new item is it good or not you know tell me before i touch it before i pick it up and you know just slowly progressing unlocking things getting a little farther bit by bit and now she is absolutely addicted to this game and a big reason is because, as she told me, women hate learning new controls. Well, this one, if she's played any kind of twin-stick shooter before, or even not, it's easy to get into. And this is not exactly a twin-stick shooter, but pretty close. Very likely you are already aware of the Pixel Junk series. Uh, this is Pixel Junk Shooter. This is the king of twin-stick shooters that anyone can get into. I don't think it's the best twin-stick shooter in the world by any means, but it is easy to get into for just about anyone. It's incredibly intuitive. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm hot. I should go touch water. Oh, there's some ice over there. If I heat it up, maybe I can get past it. It's incredibly intuitive. The controls, like I said, twin-stick twin shooter, so really easy to get down and just get into the game. Fun for anyone, super, super easy to get into. Surprise, surprise. Here at number two, we have another twin stick shooter. This is Crimson Land. This is as easy as it gets. I, I don't mean difficulty wise, I mean how easy it is to get into. How easy it is to start playing and start having fun with it. The missions are very short. You can probably get one in, or maybe even two, even on commercial breaks if you want. And the, the, the way the difficulty ramps up uh, from mission to mission and also between easy difficulty and normal difficulty, uh, it really is 
just fine-tuned, you know, to just give you a little more of a challenge. And just as your skill goes up, the challenge gets a little bit harder and really keeps you in the game. Very quick before we get to number one, a few that almost made the cut. Hotline Miami. Again, you're probably saying, really? This is a tough game. Yeah, it is, but with the quickness of how you can get back into the fight again and again and again, and how you can basically memorize the levels and memorize what to do, memorize patterns, it's a game that a lot of people can get, can get into, and I think fairly easily. And one more that almost made it on the list for basically the same reasons as Hotline Miami. That you can memorize things and it's very fast paced and you can get right back into the action is Race the Sun. Uh, a lot of girlfriends and wives can easily relate to racing games. They drive, they like speed, and this has the added benefit of being able to Simply, you know, you can get better just by memorizing levels. I should take this path over this one, dodge left here, and it's a lot of fun that way. Now, the final game, and I do apologize for not having any video of it. Uh, that's because I only own it on the PS3, sadly, and it was not cross by. It's a game by Housemark. Uh, a company that you should be familiar with if you own a PlayStation. And that game is Dead Nation. It is, again, a twin-stick shooter. And the controls are a little tougher than some of the other twin-stick shooters that I've mentioned. And it's a little... gory. And it's probably not as easy to get into. But you can have so much fun playing that two-player. And even if your wife or girlfriend isn't amazing with controls, like I said, this is another game where you can memorize everything. Where every zombie comes out, what to do in every situation, and you ha can have so much fun strategizing, uh, giving roles, okay, you know, all right, sweetheart, you're gonna go and you're gonna kill this zombie that jumps out of this sewer. Well, I go over here to the right, and I kill this one. And you both can have so much fun with this game. Together. And that is why it is number one on my list. Because it is one of the best co-op games I have ever played. It got my wife so into gaming that, uh, you know, years later, she still, you know, she still comes home and she wants to play games. And she still has such fond memories of that one. That is the game that got her into gaming. And thank God for it. I'm happy that it did, and I hope it or maybe another one on this list can do it for your wife or girlfriend. Good luck.